The next day, I was on the unemployment line looking for any kind of work. They lined me up with my first job, framing the grid for the 2Ds. Vertical gridding was a dangerous job for streaks. Placing poles when you're just a stick yourself can erase you instantly. Boom. It happened too often. I would spend the line breaks sucking on cancer sticks wondering whether I might just be hanging from a rope on a pole sometime down the line. One day, my boss, Mr. Flute, had a couple of blockheads slinking around. They carried off parts of sticks and twigs, and I figured this was some upper dimension shit, you know, you could sometimes read about online. Mr. Flute looked twisted that day. I thought I saw a little red on his tie. The next day, he asked all the linemen to edge their way into his office. When I got in there, he asked me flatly, Be straight with me, Dash. Can you see colors? I can see them. Yeah? Well, what's this color? My lucky streak was with me. That's red, Mr. Flute. That line's red. Not bad, Noodle. For a pencil, you're not as thick as some of the blockheads I hire. You want to make a few dots? How, sir? Well, just take these uh, sticks and twigs to the end of the line. There you'll meet a contact who will take them from you. You come to my office the next day and I'll give you some more dots. If you come back... I'll give you more. I'll do it for ten. Ten? You know how to count, Toothpick? I do. I can put all the Roman numerals together. I learned it at the alignment school in Latin class. Hey, good for you, Sig. Good for you. I need you to do it now. Can you do that for me? Sure. I took those sticks and twigs and I walked the line, and I walked that line, and I walked that line. Just like Johnny Dash used to sing. I sang his song over and over until I got to the end of the line. I walk the line. I walk the line. Come on. I walk the line. I walk. The line. I reached the end of it. At the very end of the line, there was only something leading up, which I would later refer to as a ladder. This meant that all I could do was go up. Going up was disorienting for any noodle, especially if it was your first time. I clung to the rungs of the ladder for my dear life determined to find my way. I could only feel an odd pressure from something beyond, something bursting with energy just beyond the limits of my base dimension. We lines have sharp points, so pushing against an upper dimension is like a a needle threading through the fabric of space and time. Suddenly, I felt myself expanding, my narrow lungs filled with an abundance of O2. I was dizzy with excitement and at the same time, terrified. For here it was. second dimension.